And hello YouTube, this is GS and I'm Smart, and I'm here on a brand new video for Tutorials to GS. Today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to recover any deleted files that you may have accidentally deleted, or if you have an old hard drive and your computer crashed, and probably all the files are deleted from it because of the crash, there is a way to get all of your files back. And I'm going to be showing you how to do that today with a software called Recuva. It's free to use, very easy to use, and it's actually how I got a lot of my, my files back on my recent uh, hard drive that I took out of my old computer, and it had crashed, and when I plugged it into my current computer, there were no files there, so I was actually able to receive a lot of the old files that were basically wiped out because they were still deep inside the hard drive, and I basically got a lot of it back with Recuva. So, go ahead and download this software right here. I'll leave a link in the description uh, I've tried this software, works great, safe to use. So you can also buy this software, however, it's not really worth it to me. $25 for automatic updates and advanced and um, hard drive support. And you can buy the uh, $40 one for all this stuff, but not really needed. If you just want to get your files back, go ahead and click free download right here. And then just, you can download from either of these two sources, doesn't really matter. And then go ahead and click download latest version. And if you're on Google Chrome, download will be on the bottom left corner. If you're on another browser, it'll pop up somewhere. But I'm not going to go through the whole download installing process. I'm pretty sure a lot of you know how to do that. So anyway, when you have it installed and downloaded, you want to go ahead and search it on your search bar. Be aware this does work for any, any operating system. So it's not only for Windows 10. But what will happen is that when you have it opened here, every time you start the program, you'll be greeted with this wizard. You can... Uh, have it so it doesn't show up anymore but it doesn't really bother me go ahead and just click next here next to the bottom and then it will basically ask you what type of file are you looking for now if you're working with an old hard drive and you just want to get all the files back or a variety of them then obviously select all files if you're looking for a specific file that you know of then you can try to search it with one of these categories, video, music, pictures. However, what I've found is that you actually get a lot more accurate results with the all files option. So I highly recommend that you, if you want to try it with one of these at the bottom here, you can, it won't take very long to scan. But I do encourage you to click show all files because it'll actually do a really good job of scanning and find all the files for you rather than just trying to find a specific file. But like I said, you can try first one of these and then see if you find it or not. Go ahead and click next here. The next step will be, it'll ask you where do you want to search and basically the same thing. If you don't remember exactly where it is, then I'll uh, click I'm not sure, it'll scan everything. However, like I said, it's a lot more accurate if you click I'm not sure, it'll scan everything. But you can try one of these again. If you want to try one of these, select a folder in a specific location, you can do that. But essentially, how I got all my files from my old hard drive is I just clicked, I'm not sure, and I clicked all files. If you click next here, now, this will ask you for a deep scan. A deep scan will take will make this take a lot longer than it should. So, I would recommend you first do a non-deep scan, and if you still can't find your file, then I would recommend that you do a deep scan, because it'll really go into your system all the way and search in every corner for the file. So I'm not going to go ahead and do deep scan. I'm also not going to do all the files. I'm just going to do videos just for the purpose of this tutorial. I'm going to do I'm not sure. That's fine. And I'm going to do no deep scan. Go ahead and click next. And then this will basically start scanning. Now if you're curious about how, how this entire thing works, it basically is that whenever you delete a file from your system, it never gets fully deleted. It doesn't really throw it anywhere. I mean, where where is it going to throw those bits? Where is it going to throw that data? It can't really throw it anywhere. So whenever you have something deleted from your system, it's never actually deleted. It's just not being pointed to in the uh, directory tree. So what happens is that eventually over time, you'll start getting new data on your computer. You'll start downloading new data. You'll start creating new images, downloading new songs, um, creating new text documents. And slowly but surely, the old data that was deleted tends to get overwritten with the new data. So you never fully delete anything from your system. It's always being overwritten. Stuff is constantly overwriting the old data that you quote unquote deleted. It's just being replaced with new data. So that does bring me to this disclaimer right here. There can be a chance that if you're looking for a file that's really old and you constantly use your computer actively, 
you may not be able to recover that file because as I just said, your system works in a way that it overwrites old data. So if you're looking for a document that you had like four years ago and you've been using your computer for four years now, you probably won't be able to get it back because um, it's just not gonna happen. It probably got overwritten a long time ago. And the same with um, this little system right here, as you'll see, we have it's basically color coded. You have red colors, orange colors, and green colors for all the files here. Basically, all the files that it found as a video file. And essentially, the red files are not recoverable anymore because they've completely been overwritten. The orange files have been corrupted, or they're partially overwritten, and essentially you can't get get those back either. So the only files you're able to get back are the ones that are marked as green. You can categorize your files by clicking state here and it'll give you all of your files that are in excellent condition and you can go through to see if you want any of them or recover any of them which is how it works so like i said you're not gonna be able to get back any file you want because it may be overwritten it may be corrupted because some data has already been overwritten on it so just be aware about that um, if you'd like to search for an item, you can do that as well on the top here, switch to advanced mode and they'll give you a search bar here. And if I were to just type in, this is actually what I used to record. I used to record some gaming videos with an old, um, recording software and it basically always labeled the recordings as this. So you'll see that I still have some recordings from 2014 sitting here that I obviously can't recover because it's already been overwritten. But like I said, you can always categorize this by state and then the ones that are able to be uh, recoverable you can recover them very easily all you gotta do is click and then uh, you can click recover at the bottom you have to check mark them though so don't forget to check mark them for pictures you'll see a preview here so if you're looking for pictures you'll see all the picture previews here which is really convenient as well and uh, yeah it's a pretty cool program pretty handy and useful if you're looking for old files that you may have deleted or if you look it works very well with an old hard drive like i said that's what i used it for for an old hard drive or if you accidentally deleted a file that you had last week but now you can't find it anymore it's a pretty good way to get it back as well if you accidentally deleted it so that's pretty much this video thank you for watching if you have any questions or comments confusions if you have a suggestion there's a better program out there that does this better you can go ahead and suggest it in the comment section below we're all here to learn and to you know get our files back they were missing um so yeah this this program has worked for me it's very safe to use i've had great success with it i've got a lot of my files back from my old hard drive so i thought i'd share it with you guys because it's actually worth using and it wasn't just another one of those videos where people say, oh, how do you get your files back? Go in your recycling bin. <laughs> I mean, come on. That's not exactly what we wanted. So, yeah, any comments, questions, leave in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. Plenty of other content on the channel regarding tutorials about computer stuff, regarding tutorials about programs like, you know, Adobe products, uh, Photoshop, GIMP, uh, Audacity, lots of editing tutorials as well. If you're interested in that type of stuff, go ahead and subscribe. More content to come in the future as well. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well. And I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours, depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how-to videos. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too. Really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much, everyone. And this is GSMASMART, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.